Hey, you're here with EPN. We bring you the latest in everything cool every single day, even if we happen to be at an airport flying somewhere. This rundown is dedicated to all of those affected by the horrific fires in Fort McMurray. Stay safe out there. Our hearts are with you. This rundown is for you. Your feet can be a lot more stylish when you're jumping on Koopas. It looks like Nintendo is teaming up with Vans to create a new line of shoes based on some of the most iconic Nintendo properties. Retro-style shoes based on Mario, The Legend of Zelda, and Donkey Kong were briefly posted online yesterday. The listing has since been removed, and at the time we're filming this, neither Nintendo or Vans have made an official announcement. We'll let you know when that changes. I've got my fingers crossed for a pair of Zelda-style iron boots. Star Wars might not be the only cosmic adventure coming to Disney's theme parks. The studio is rumored to be bringing a Guardians of the Galaxy ride to the Disney California Adventure Park. If the rumors are true, Disney is planning to repurpose the existing Twilight Zone Tower of Terror ride, which makes sense given that Guardians is a Disney property and the Twilight Zone is not. We'd love to see a ride that lets us jump into the cockpit of Peter Quill's ship or maybe cruise around in those little mining ships. Whatever it ends up being, expect the Guardians ride to open next summer just in time for the release of the second Guardians of the Galaxy film in theaters. Disney is already working on a series of new Star Wars attractions for their parks across the globe, on top of the attractions that are already fully armed and operational. Mankind's struggle against the aliens of XCOM 2 is getting a lot more intense next week. The latest DLC pack for the game will drop on Thursday, May 12th. It's called the Alien Hunters Pack and includes bigger and more formidable alien opponents for veteran players to battle. The new enemies will be unlocked and show up at random in your game after you've completed a new story mission included in the DLC. This is the second of at least three DLC add-ons coming for XCOM 2. The third will arrive later this summer. Supergirl had to leave her home planet and now she might have to fly over to a brand new network. The rap reports that the show might jump from its current network, CBS, in favor of a new home on the CW. The show still hasn't been renewed for a second season by CBS following its less than stellar first season ratings, so being picked up by the CW might be the only way to save it. The CW happens to be part of the same corporate family as DC Entertainment, Jumping networks might actually be a good thing. The CW already broadcasts Arrow and The Flash, which take place in the same small screen DC universe as Supergirl. Hopefully this will mean more crossover episodes in the future. Either way, I'm a big fan of the show and hope that it comes back for a new season this fall. Oh, sorry. The makers of the online shooter Evolve are getting into something new. According to a recent job posting, Evolve developer Turtle Rock Studios is working on an unannounced new game that will be an original intellectual property or IP. The listing implies that the game, whatever it is, will have a strong emphasis on combat and character mechanics, which seems in keeping with the studio's previous projects. Since this unannounced new game is an original IP, it will not be a sequel to Evolve. Turtle Rock Studios has hinted in the past that they'd like to make a sequel to the monstrous game, although it hasn't been officially announced, so it's unclear if it will happen. That's it for our rundown today. Thanks for joining us in the airport, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow from California with a brand new rundown for you. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.